Hey guys, how's it going? It is Fangs, and welcome to a Q&A we're gonna be doing on my channel here today. So, on YouTube, there's now this community tab. And on there, I can ask you guys questions, I can poll you, I can do all different kinds of stuff. I normally do Q&As based on Twitter and Instagram, which, if you don't follow me on Twitter and Instagram, be awesome if you did, link in the description down below. But today, it allowed me to do it here on the community tab, which is crazy. So you guys in YouTube actually get to ask me questions. I'm gonna answer, I'm gonna try to do like 15 of them. There was a ton, I got a ton sent in, but I'm gonna try to get to about 15 of them so the video is not like monstrously long. Anyway, thanks to the guys that did send the questions, guys and girls, and if I didn't get to yours, I'm sorry. Hopefully I can get to it next time. But let's go ahead and let's get started with the Q&A here today. Are you a good YouTuber? It's a really funny question and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to answer this and I feel like in general as a youtuber I think that my worth or work ethic my work ethic is really good Like I feel like I put a lot of my heart into my content I put a lot of my time into my content and I try really hard to be the best that I can um, I feel like I could be better always. I think youtubers could always be better. I wish my editing was better um, I wish that I don't know my quality of content could be better in terms of the things that I want to do But it's really hard when you don't have like the people around you that you want to do like I'd love to really have a vlog channel where I've got all my friends from gaming and all that different kind of stuff around me and all this stuff going on but I'm here in Texas and I usually on my vlog channel can only have like my friends from here who are not youtubers who do not know how to get into videos and do stuff like that and then on top of that just more better like cameras and things there's things that could make my channel a lot better that I do not have but as a YouTuber as a whole, I feel like in the four years that I've done it, I've been pretty good. I mean, I did get up to 1.4 million subs. Um, I did at one point, I used to get like three or 400k views a video. Obviously YouTube has changed. They make it very hard for you to even want to be a good YouTuber because They've changed the algorithms all the time. They've changed the ad revenue. They've changed how they notify your subscribers. They've changed it all. So it's made it really hard. But in general, I'd like to hope and think that I am a good YouTuber. I wanna know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think I'm a good YouTuber? Do you like carrot cake? Funny you should ask. One of my most favorite desserts is carrot cake. I don't know how you knew that. That's kind of crazy that you even brought that up. But back whenever I was a child, I love cheesecake. I love carrot cake. And I really like strawberry cupcakes. That's like my jam right there. They do now have cake balls, which is a whole other ball game. Cake balls are like these little bitty, you, anyone's, if you haven't had them, you need to look it up and you need to try them. But anyway, so with carrot cake, whenever I was younger, my mom was working trying to get through college or university whenever she had me and my brother. And so she also had to work a job at a Red Lobster. She was a waitress whenever I was younger. And so when she was doing that, she always would bring home food from Red Lobster. And one of the main desserts at Red Lobster is the carrot cake. And she brought it home every time with the meals and I loved it and I had it. And I don't know, it just gives me like one of those whew, good vibes. I love carrot cake. When is your son due? Are you planning to vlog around the time of birth and little updates for like a week after as one video to save uploading so much around the busy time? So I've pre-made a lot of videos um, and for the first week at least of whenever my baby is due. He is due May the 17th, but as of right now, it's April the 6th. And I'm already starting to have like a lot of cramping and different things that happen leading up to what happens to it. So he could come at any time now, I feel like. But May the 17th is his due date. So if we push all the way to 40 weeks, that's when that'll be. Hopefully I'll have a few more videos in at that time. But I've pre-made all these different draft videos and like different Q&As, would you rathers, just so that you guys can have content when that happens. Now I would love it if you guys would like show up and give a lot of love to that content because that's gonna be a hard time for me and it's gonna be a very expensive time because having a baby in the United States of America is not cheap and so I need to have my, my sole income and my revenue happening. So that's why I've pre-made videos. I will be vlogging it. I have a daily vlog channel called Fubi. You'll see more in detail vlog on there, but I'm gonna have like a span of the whole time in the hospital and meet my son vlog like that'll probably be edited after I get out of the hospital but it will be there will be a vlog there and that'll be a video and I might even do like a pack opening in the hospital if I'm not completely out of it it could happen but May the 17th you will still have videos Messi or Ronaldo I seem to get asked this question so much and I think two or three years ago I made a video on it 
and my idea of who I like better is not going to change. Like, in the, throughout the years, doesn't matter which one's done better or worse, I don't understand why in the first place there needs to be a Messi or Ronaldo, why there can't be a Messi and Ronaldo. They're both amazing players. I have nothing against either one of them. I think they're both just like crazy. My generation, to have two people like that is one of the most wild things in the world. But if you had to ask me to put one or the other, would I rather meet that person? Would I rather think that person is whatever? It's gonna be Ronaldo. It's always been Ronaldo. Like I started watching it whenever I started playing at FIFA 12. I'm not like some veteran pro on it. But at that time, from watching from there to now, the most exciting player to me has always been Ronaldo, and it might not be to you, it might be Messi, and I'm okay with that. I would never say, you know what, you're stupid, because you think it's Messi, because no, that's what you like. Mine just happens to be Ronaldo, that's why he's on my wall, you probably can't see him, no you can't, but he's on my wall back there. He's my favorite, most exciting player to watch. I mean, did you see that bicycle kick? He's just insane, like everything about him to me is awesome. I know he is better looking and people are gonna say, oh, you just like him because he's better looking. Yeah, you know, that's not the only reason. He's an exciting player, he's amazing, and I like watching him. It's like, a, it's crazy. It's crazy that he can even be the age that he is now, and he still has it, and I don't think it's going down anytime soon. So, that is my pick, it's Ronaldo. I'm sure I'm gonna get some like spam hate in the comments about it. Just be chill, bro. Jim, let me Let me know why you think Messi is better, which is fine. Or let me know why you think Ronaldo's better, which is fine too, but don't be out of control. Who do you want to win the World Cup, and who do you think will win it? I think and I want this team to win the World Cup. So obviously America's not in it, Italy's not in it, those are two of my teams. I'm Italian, I'm obviously, obviously from the United States. Obviously, I said that so many times, three times. My dad is from Germany. Germany is my other team. Like, love it, have the kids for it, have one sitting back here, don't know if you can see it, my son's kid, he already has a Germany kid. And so Germany is going to be the team that I cheer for in the World Cup. It's the team that I want to win, and it is the team that I think will win it because they're just amazing. Like, they have amazing players, I think they'll do well, I know there's some injuries, but it's like we got some time left. It could end up being where things happen. I just think that Germany has it, and I think they're gonna win it. I wanna know who you guys think is gonna win it in the comments down below, though, let me know that. Would you ever consider to make your channel into a Fortnite channel rather than FIFA? I've tried to upload Fortnite, and so I stream Fortnite. If you guys don't know, Monday through Friday, from like usually 1 or 2 p.m. until like 4, or wait, 3 or 4 p.m., which, what is that y'all's time? Like, like 7 or 8 UK time, I stream for two hours usually. I play Fortnite, because I love it, and it's my time to play Fortnite, and I want to share it with the world, even though I'm not the greatest at it. Now, people will show up, and that'll have a ton of viewers, and it'll be a lot of fun, and I love doing that, but all of that happens, and then whenever I go to post the video on my channel, no one wants to watch Fortnite on the channel because it's a FIFA channel. So it'd be very hard to transition from FIFA to Fortnite. I still love FIFA. I think that FIFA could be a better game and might be a better game coming up. I just don't like what's going on with it right now. So I don't want to completely ever leave FIFA, but I'd like to have Fortnite as well sometimes. I just wish that my viewers would like spring between the two of them, but they don't, which is crazy. Why watch the live stream but not watch the video? It just doesn't make sense to me, but... I think I'd probably stick with FIFA. Which country did you really enjoy going to and why? Well, because my dad is from there, and because every time I've gone it's been nothing but a great experience, Germany has been the like best country that I've visited and had like the greatest time in. It reminds me, for some reason, even though no one really spoke English whenever I was going around, and I have terrible German skills, like I, my German is bad. Um, but even though then, it was just, I'm in Cologne is where I usually go. I have been in Dusseldorf, but it's just clean. It reminds me of the United States more. It feels better, like, I, not that everything should be like the United States, but whenever you're used to something and you're used to your home and something kind of reminds you of your home and it gives you the same feeling, it's not as hard to be there and get homesick and get, like, worried and wonder what's going on. Like, I feel like I could walk around Germany. I felt so safe. Everything was just beautiful, clean. The weather has been nice every time I've gone there, except for one time it was really hot. Like, they don't put ACs in some of their restaurants, and it would be like 85, and I'd be sweating, like, oh my god, but Germany has to be probably one of the more amazing places that I've visited. What type of popular brands do you like out of these three? Adidas, Adidas, because that's probably what you're gonna call it, Nike, or Puma? Not many people wear Puma in the area that I live in. Like, I see it sometimes on football things and stuff like that. But Puma is not a very sold thing around here, so that's not going to be one of my favorites. Um, Adidas, I'm just going to say it correctly because I know we say it wrong. We say Adidas in the America, United States of America. 
I love it now more than ever. So I used to only buy Nike products, like generally only bought Nike products. If you try to say that it's pronounced Nike, by the way, you were completely wrong. It's an American company, it's Nike. But anyway, I wear Nike products, love it. Pants, everything. Under Armour is another one I like to wear, which is more so, it's pushing into the UK. Um, but everything Under Armour Nike. Until recently, when I got pregnant and my feet started to swell, and then I started to notice that the shoes, not just because my feet are swollen, but just in general, the shoes from Adidas give you way more room. Like, they're not so narrow and squeezing your foot, so they give you way more room to just fit in there. So I've got a couple pair of Adidas. That probably sounded like a fart. That was my foot down here moving on this thing, and I'm not gonna be able to recreate it. I promise you I did not. I did not do that. But anyway, um, Adidas shoes have just been amazing for me recently. So I've kind of been in between them a lot. But normally I choose Nike. Who do you think is gonna win? KSI or Logan Paul, Jake Paul or Deji? I've said this in quite a few videos now and there's been some training stuff that has come out and so it like continues on and on. I still at this point, looking at JJ, I haven't seen anything really from Logan Paul, although he could be hiding it. Looking at JJ and how much he's training on Instagram and everything I see, I still think JJ is a complete beast and he's really good. He's gonna have to change up the stance of like the whole like, where he's not protecting his face because Logan is gonna hit him. But besides that, I think JJ's gonna win. And then Deji, it's hard because the video he's making, I feel like he's trolling half the time. And I don't think that Jake Paul's taking it seriously. Like Jake Paul just accepted the deal. And so I don't know if he's taking it very seriously yet, but I still feel in that fight that Jake Paul would defeat Deji. I love Deji and he's a good friend, but at this moment, I think that Jake Paul would defeat Deji. What is your favorite FIFA of all time? My favorite, was FIFA 14. And I mean, it's just too good. Like FIFA 14 was one of the better games out there. I feel like it was just a score fest, which made it way more exciting. Um, I don't know, like the wing cross head factor of it. You guys know that I love to run it down the wings and you know I love to cross and headers were just so overpowered. Like I was actually, I consider myself actually pretty good at FIFA 14 compared to the rest where it's been kind of a struggle. This year I'm not too terrible, believe it or not, even though I hate the gameplay, I'm not too terrible, but I was pretty dang good at FIFA 14. What weird food combinations do you really enjoy? I don't know if this is considered weird and I don't know if they have it in a lot of different countries, but there's this like dip, it's called a French, no, no, green onion, either green or French onion dip. You can get it at a lot of different places here in the United States. I like to dip Cool Ranch, which I know they have other versions. They might just call it Ranch Doritos in other countries, but Cool Ranch Doritos. You take those, you dip them into this dip, which is like a green onion dip, and it is one of the most amazing tasting combinations of my life. Like putting those together for me is just fabulous. I also like to, it's not really a weird combination, but I like to have for my sandwiches, I don't do peanut butter and jelly, I do peanut butter, honey, and bananas. Like that together to me is just awesome. I don't know if, I feel like that's more of a common combination, but the other one, I don't feel like people do that as much and I feel like you should put that in your life. How long do you plan to do YouTube for? I'm pretty much gonna ride the YouTube train until the YouTube train dies. Like until, if I end up getting to a point where I could have a job, cause I went to, I went to university. Like I, didn't, I don't not have a backup plan. I didn't drop out in high school and start YouTube. I went to university, I have a degree, I've had jobs before this, made a lot of money before YouTube, um, working in IT. So if I get to a point where I could make more money at a job, say in IT or whatever else I wanna do, or maybe I even start my own business. If I get to a point in YouTube where it's not bringing in the revenue and like the ability to, the, to make money as much as it is those other jobs, that's probably not so much that I'll quit YouTube because I would never fully quit it, but that's whenever I would go get a different job or I'd start my own business and then I would just continue doing YouTube on the side, which would be not as much. So whenever that happens, um, I mean, it's been crazy on the like just roller coaster of YouTube the last few years in general. So you don't, you never know. Right now, perfectly fine, not that big of a deal. It is annoying. Views are annoying. It's stupid that I could go from getting 100k views to like 15 to 20k just because you don't want to send my notifications out. I could get so mad about YouTube right now and say the different things about it, but. I just try to make it work. I go with what I go with. You have deals outside of YouTube, you have streaming, you have all these different things. So while that's making me happy and I'm enjoying that job and it's able to let me live the life I wanna live, I'll do it. Whenever I can't do that, I'll have to do whatever else and YouTube will end up going on the side. Why don't you participate in the Sidemen versus YouTube All-Star Charity Match? In England, in the United Kingdom, they cannot allow females to play against males in competitive sports like that. I don't know the exact rule of it, but pretty much, 
it's just not able to happen there. So they can't, because it's gonna be so physical and the different things that happen, a female cannot be in a competitive match like that. So I've never been able to be in it. That's why they made me a manager the first year. That's why I just came and watched it the second year. And now I'm not even gonna get to go to it sadly because my son's gonna be born right before it happens. I'd love to go, but I'm not gonna be able to go to it. But females are not allowed to play in males in those type of sports in England. I don't know, like, they have like co-ed here, but even then if it was gonna be super physical and there was gonna be like slide tackles and stuff like that, I don't know if they'd allow it even here, but they're females cannot play in those matches period how do you feel about having a baby and in the same time you need to upload videos this is something i'm actually super stressed about mostly because of the fact that uh will has a job now he works completely different like during the day eight to five and it's gonna be just me here and so i don't know how it's gonna work where i'll be able to maybe put him down asleep and then i make a video and then i feed him and do all this stuff and then i make a video like i'm gonna be a full-time mom with a full-time job that already I put a lot of time and work into. So it's gonna have to probably work where maybe I make my videos when Will gets home from work. Maybe I put him down like to take a nap and then I live stream then. It's gonna be crazy, but it's actually making me very nervous on just everything in general. The whole idea of it makes me nervous, but I just wanna let it happen. I'm gonna let it play out. I'm gonna see how it works. But for now, I'm just like, whew. I'm stressing about it. What are you going to name your kid? My son's name, I've said this before. I made a video on it, but I guess maybe it didn't get in your sub box. My son's name is going to be Brooks James. So it's B-R-O-O-K-S. James is the middle name, but we're gonna call him, cause that's a family name and Will's mom is already that name. We're gonna call him Rook, R-O-O-K for short. It's like the in-between, like the B is gone and the S is gone and there's just Rook instead of Brooks. That's just gonna be his like nickname. So Brooks, but we're calling him Rook. What's your favorite sport? Believe it or not, it's not European football. I, it's like my second favorite right now. My first favorite always has to be American football. And I know you guys like to call it hand egg over the, you know, over the pond. And you have all these things to say about it, but I grew up with it. Like I've been watching it since I was, well, since I can remember. My first word before mom and dad was Cowboys, which is the Dallas Cowboys. And that's because my grandpa was addicted to watching the Dallas Cowboys. He has a Dallas Cowboys room, all this different stuff. So I was introduced to it. I played it whenever I was younger. I watched it growing up. It's huge in Texas. It's just a great sport. I love it. I love going. If you ever get a chance to go to a college football, not NFL, NFL can be awesome, but if you ever get a chance to go to a big stadium and a college football game and enjoy that atmosphere, it's one of the craziest things. And I know it's the same for European football over there, still pretty crazy, but it just doesn't change the feeling I get when I go to a American college football game. And whenever I had my team in college, Texas Tech, and they were winning, oh my God, it was just too much. That's my favorite sport. Have you ever been in Ireland? I have yet to go to Ireland. I've been over there so many times been in the UK area so many times and it's just over to the left and I have yet to go to Ireland. I really want to go, maybe at some point whenever my baby is old enough, I want to take him. So maybe I'll just wait for that moment. But there's so many parts that I want to see because it just seems, from what I see on TV, it seems beautiful, the people seem nice. I really want to visit Ireland. All right guys, so that's going to be it for our Q&A for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for those questions that you shot me over here. They were great. I enjoyed them. I had a good time. I hope you guys did too. Like I said at the beginning of this, if you did, it would be amazing if we can get this video to 1500 likes. That's my goal for today. I feel like you guys can do that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video and until next time, see you guys later.